Hello again. Good morning. It's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio in the backyard with the wind coming up because we're expecting a storm. Cross your fingers. We get to do this without me getting wet. Okay, so this is really, really an experiment. Um, I used a blooming onion cutter, which I don't see. It had lots of holes around the bottom and it was quite large. And it gave me this idea that if I heated up either my razor blade in the wooden handle tool or protected my metal chopstick, which is one of many, um, I could melt holes in a much smaller item. Outdoors is better because you don't want to inhale plastic. Now my first, my first ones were with the, um, the razor blade and they're kind of small and insignificant. But I also think that if I use a straw to blow down into the paint in the middle, it will force it out. So we're gonna put those aside for right now. And I'm gonna make a couple of ring pour cups. I'm not sure that they're gonna work the way I want them to, but um, that's okay. I promised somebody I would do some yellow today, so yellow is what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna put, put my caps. I'm sorry, I'm recording now. That's my very helpful husband who just fixed the leaking washer dryer hookup. Yay, it's only been months. <laughs> I'm very pleased. No more quick run to the laundry room. All right, so if I'm not careful, I will lose my uh, lose my yellow to the orange. So I'm gonna put some white in there. And you notice I'm putting it right in the middle of the cup. I'm not running it down one side. Um, this is what I'm gonna try this time. What else do I want in there? I just want yellows, basically, so. Let's go back to this other yellow. This is sort of called a dairy lid yellow. I don't know where they got that, but it is the color of like Velveeta. <laughs> Actually a little lighter than that, but take, keep that top off. I'm going to start my timer again because I blew it. Give us 17 minutes. That way I know when to tell you what I need to tell you before we part ways. Let's put that in there. Yeah, I'm going a little overboard on the orange. And it might be kind of simple. It's not really going to be a ring pour either, and I keep forgetting that. But there's yellow in there, so I'm partially good on my promise. Let's see, I'm just going to have to throw another color in there. There we go. So. Now that these are heavy enough to stand up on their own and I will knock on wood not knock them over, I am going to spread some white paint because spreading white paint will enable other paint to move that is put on top of it. I don't know. This is my... I don't know if I'm going to tip it or not. Probably I am. But if I don't, it's also good to have a layer of white paint and your glasses on your face if you have a hard time seeing the difference between white canvas and white paint, which I may have mentioned a hundred times by now. So, like I was saying, my OXO omelet turning spatula listed on the link right below the video. The Amazon link takes you to stuff that I have chosen. It costs you nothing extra to get it. If you go there and you want this, buy the larger one. It has a more flexible blade and it's better for our purposes. It's also less expensive, which I have never figured out and probably never will figure out. Why would bigger be less? In any case, it's a wonderful tool and I love it. <laughs> and I recommend it highly. And everybody who's bought it so far has been really ecstatic about it, at least to me. I've had lots of great reports, and why wouldn't I? I already know it's fantastic. So I keep a, butter, bucket, a, butter? I keep a bucket of water handy to put my painty tools into, and at the end of the day, that goes into sand to separate the, out the paint from the water. Okay, here goes nothing. Wow. I'm gonna do this three different places. And hopefully they'll be attractive. <laughs> and I want to put my gold in last. I do want some gold in there, actually. I'm probably not going to use all this paint, but I can use it in another pour, so I'm not too worried about it. Whoa. So let's start. Yeah. Let's start <laughs> with a little something a little closer to me. Let's see how this goes. It's good if you're on a level surface, especially with these. 
these pores that come out of other objects. All right, I have Princeton Catalyst spatulas. Lots of them, I recommend them. You can find them on my Amazon link also. They run five to ten dollars depending on what they're selling for in that particular day. Now I'm going to try my, my theory out before I go on so I know what's coming. And here's a bendy straw, even though I have medical tubing. My theory is correct. It makes another pattern. That's cool. All right, that's going in the bucket. So far, the big holes worked pretty well. Now we're going to see if the smaller holes work better. And I'm going to put some purple in at the very end on top of that gold because that seems to be, well, we're going to find out. All right, I'm going to move that a little bit. Now, can I do it sooner and make more of an impact? Or do I make mud? <laughs> Which is sort of kind of what it looks like. So far, I'm voting for this one as opposed to the other. But it does make a nice flower. Not so much this one. I'm taking that mud out of there. And since I can, and I have some paint left, dry that cup out really fast, more or less, and replace that one I don't like as much. <laughs> and I have plenty of paint to use. What do I want in there first? You know what? I want to see what happens if I put some blue in there. That blue is really super thick. Let's put some metallic blue in on top of it. If we get a little green, it's still a flower shape color. I may just wind up tipping all of this for sure, but I definitely recommend if you're going to put holes in something to make sure that it's with something larger than the razor blade. It's not, that's, that was not my favorite. I want something brighter in there and in order to use my folk art neon, neon purple, I need it near white in order to maintain any kind of brilliance at all. So I'm going to go bring the straw back in. And I could just keep doing this, I think. I kind of don't mind those. I like the idea of using up all my paint. Chances are good I just threw my... Uh, spatula in a bucket or I put it somewhere. Anyway, so I found it. The round one is good for getting paint out of round containers, round sided containers. I use the square one all the time when I mix paint. So I'm very curious since we're right here and I'm obviously going to do this again. We got 10 minutes anyway that um, I can just add things from my squeeze bottles and see how that goes. I think that's what I'm going to do. And that might even work better with these smaller containers. And I kind of like to have five flowers. It's not my usual, but I need to have some fun in play too, you know. So I kind of wound up with green centers. that's okay because it's just a complimentary or whatever it's it's another color combination fortunately my big tub of water that some of you have seen the studio tour along with the contest that's running now that started on November 5th and will end on at midnight on December 5th if you decide to contribute oh it looks like my paint might be a little unlevel so maybe one more of these you think and I kind of want to see what happens when I use, where's my uh, Prussian blue? I know it's here. There we go. 
Prussian blue with the deco pouring medium mixed into the Floatrol and the GAC 800. The GAC 800 is in every single one of my paints. It's the first thing that goes into the colors. The recipe is in the description under the video. You can always find it there. I've just updated everything so you can find it. I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, there's lots of stuff for you to see in the description. The uh, two Facebook albums that are full of the YouTube wet and dry artworks along with prices if you want to contemplate purchasing something. What else? My Pinterest and my Instagram links. This is kind of cool. It looks like a lot like I'm going to be tipping. And did I put my... Yeah, I kept my straw where I could find it. Always good. So I started my holes when I melted them in the little cup at uh, 12 and 6, 3 and 9, and then filled in. And uh, that was about it. I think it was just the numbers on the clock. And that was all that was required. I like this, but I'd like some blue in there. I don't think we need any more flowers. I've often wondered what it would be like. Yes. I like that, and if I like that, I'll probably like this too. Now because the GAC 800 is in there, I can take a chance, and uh, I could keep pouring flowers, in my opinion. I'm thinking smaller containers still with large holes, and maybe only five holes, because that would work out okay, and I'm very interested in doing that. Um, okay, well... I don't know how this is going to dry. We'll all find out together. For real, for real. Oh, the book is coming along. I finished my part of the editing. Uh, we're going to start Volume 2 pretty quick. So that if you like Volume 1, you'll be able to get Volume 2. So I said I would add some yellow, and it must be time to add some more. And I can sort of monitor how much I'm adding to something, which is kind of cool. If I use my squeeze bottles. I don't mind pouring it because the, you get more cells when the paint is mixed together and agitated like that. But, um, so that's orange. What goes good with orange? Everything. Looks like I'll be mixing paint again very shortly. And I haven't used nearly enough of my favorite neon purple from Folk Art, which is a multi-surface paint and very difficult to find. So when I first found it, I bought as much of it as I could manage to save on shipping, because I'm cheap. No, you know what? I didn't blow it out, and I need to blow it out. Don't forget to blow it out. Right straight. Whoops. <laughs> right straight down in the center. Yeah, if you can manage it. So I feel like I'm making a bouquet, you know? <laughs> that's kind of cool. And I'm thinking, what else am I going to need? And how little paint can I get away with and blow it through? And I have this... Yep, I want some of that pink. The inside of my cup is a little damp, which may facilitate things becoming a little more runny than I actually wanted them to be. Leave your tops off, Priscilla. Would you remember my name if I didn't talk to myself? <laughs> it just occurred to me. She's crazy. Yeah, I'm not older. But then I've been working too hard steadily for three years trying to get a business going someplace I didn't know anyone, and I think I've done pretty well. So far, things are beginning to turn out. I like the smaller container because they suck back into the center very nicely. And uh, also, I think, oh yeah, I can. I don't know what it's going to be like if I interrupt, you know, this area where there's already paint with something else, but um, I'm pretty happy with everything that's happening so far. It's working as well as, if not better than, my expectations, so you can't really beat that, and things work out that way. Maybe fewer colors would be okay, too. We shall see. I 
like blowing it out with a straw. I like making more flowers. This is very cool and lots of fun. I think I recommend this. Because it's a small center, it, uh, it sucks back in really fast, which is appreciated because you don't have to figure out what you're going to do with the center. So this is my little collection of pansies and nothing's really running off the edge very, very fast, which is okay with me. I'm going to put some more of that Prussian blue in the middle, I think. And a little more white. I've got three minutes left. Before I need to, well, I'm guessing I have three minutes left, actually. Before I need to go, and I've told you most of the things I need to tell you. That is my clothing line from Teespring underneath the video rolling by. If it's there, that's great, because there's a limited time offer on a lot of it. I don't understand how it works exactly yet, but um, I'm looking forward to figuring it out. Oh, I like the way that does that. <laughs> That's cool. Add a few spirals, change up the design. That's okay. That's my bamboo skewer coming in very handy again. I think I want a little more decor for a medium in the center of that. Oh, you know what? It's not going to come out. I should have just put it in the center after I moved the cup. Another dumb moment brought to you by me. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. You know what? I'm just going to use the skewer. Let that fill right in. Pretty. This is definitely my most successful flower. And my whole thing is, if I don't have to tip it, I get to keep the flowers. And that's... That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to keep the flowers. I'm just going to use that dirty cup again because I can. And keep making flowers till I run out of time because I'm having a really good time. <laughs> thank you all to the con thank you everyone who's contributed to keep me painting. It helps keep me making videos. That keeps enough income coming in so that we can pay the mortgage. We haven't got it, got enough money to go out to dinner yet, but we're, it's getting there. It's coming. You guys keep buying t-shirts and we'll be able to eat out once a month. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, no, I'm not, but I sort of am. We're hopeful that we're going to get through this and YouTube income will help us. And you helping us is how YouTube helps us. So thank you all very much for the comments and the thumbs up. Like I asked, you're doing really great with that. I really, really appreciate the thumbs up. I guess it makes a difference in your ranking. I appreciate it. I got to remember to blow it out. Every time. So it has a chance to fill in. All right, that's really neat. I love this. I can't seem to stop. And I don't want to. I just wish I could remember to use less. Less is more at this point. Let's see what happens. If I blow it out, then I'll put a center in afterwards. Blow out through the hole and you get a petal. It's pretty neat. I actually even, I love the colors and I love the design. And I'm just gonna use the skewer to lead the paint back into the center. And then maybe just put a little dot of something in there. Because most flowers have a center. All right, that's it. We're, you're ready to go. And I have a minute to say goodbye. And I've already expressed my gratitude and my, oh, please don't do that my appreciation for you. We use the torch to release air caught in the paint. And sometimes if it's thick, you get lots and lots of beautiful little cells also. I'm not saying that I might not add one more flower up here in the corner. I think I will. So you'll see that on the thumbnail unless I take a picture right after the recording ends. 
but this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. 